I talked to Yusuf in the back. He um, just said he's ready. Most times when I go talk to these guys, I just ask them how they're feeling, how the camp go, how they how they feeling right right before the fight. And I talked to him. He's kind of gave me a, just a blank stare and said, "Ready." Yeah, they, uh, I mean, they get to sit around all day and wait for these moments. I mean, they've been in the arena since, yeah. uh, you know, noon. You know, I can't imagine, uh, I can't imagine you wouldn't be ready to go and antsy and willing to uh, get down to business. Yeah. I'm surprised they didn't have a, I think they're supposed to have a tie there. I think that's what they're talking about right now. I think they're talking about it We have Yusuf entering the cage right now. Uh, he's billed at 0-1, so he's had one fight prior. Um, representing uh, his team says, I don't know myself. And coming out next, we have Cesar Romo. Looks like he's making his debut. Quick shout out, big love. NutraZone Nutrition, your one stop shop for the best vitamins, nutrients, and supplements around. Let's get into our opponent here. From right here in Bakersfield, California, from the Shoot MMA. Give it up, Cesar. Romo! Representing Bakersfield, California, we have Cesar Romo out of the shoot MMA. Looks like this is his debut fight, but he's coming with a really strong camp behind him. Coach Brian Travers and uh, team following. from here. He, lo he, he looks like he's about six foot one or two from here. Dude's tall. Very tall, very lanky. You think that's an advantage when you're coming, like, I know like, Height can be a disadvantage in boxing sometimes. What is the what is your opinion on it in MMA? I guess it depends on your distant management, how well you're able to use your limbs. Um, if you're going against a really good wrestler who knows how to get under your hips, the height can uh, work against you. But uh, if he's a really good striker and can manage the distance, then uh, he's going to be able to keep Yusuf back and away from him very easily. Bro, this dude is he's like as tall as the cage. Yusuf looks locked in, though. He hasn't changed facial expression since he walked out. I like those shorts. Really cool shorts. the blue corner from Elk Grove, California, Yusuf Muzazi. It's a 175-pound matchup. Right here in Bakersfield, California, Caesar Romo. Big ovation for the local boy, Caesar. All right, first night of the fight of the night. Here we go. Looks like they agreed to touch it up. Musa is hands down, just. Ready to go. Looks very cold and calculated yeah. right now. No change in facial expression. Ooh, slip that cross. 
Got a southpaw versus an orthodox. Ooh, Good nice kick to the him. body by Yusuf. Looks like Musa's really liking to kick. use those kicks. I guess that kind of answers my question on the advantage. Oh, Yusuf coming forward. Oh, big cross. Oh, nice right hand by Musa. Yusuf finding success early in striking. Oh, this got caught with a, a right straight by Caesar. Oh. Yusuf just circling, staying on the outside. He starts to blitz in every now and yeah. then, gets a couple good punches and resets. Um, seems like he doesn't want to stay in range too uh, too long. I'm worried about Caesar's counter striking, maybe. Yeah, I, I feel like Yusuf is kind of coming to my point of height. It looks like he's trying to chop the tree down by using kicks early. Yeah, low calf kicks. Oh, oh, good level change by Caesar. He's collected both leg. legs. Good he's double leg. Nice double leg takedown, getting Yusuf on his back, immediately passing to full mount. There's no real danger of a guillotine right here. As long as Caesar slows it down, pops his head out uh, responsibly, I, he should have no issues. I, I feel like Yusuf is going to use a lot of strength uh, by trying to hold that position. And we got a posture up with ground and pound, raining down strikes from Caesar. Nothing's really Look at this landing. Look Vegasville crowd's going crazy yeah. watching their local boy do some pounding on the Elk Grove native. Hammer fist from the top. The ref has seen enough. Cesar Romo winning his amateur MMA debut. Coming back wow. from adversity in a round that uh, Yusuf was kind of uh, taking control of early on. He's using every bit of this moment. He, he even got some camera time right at there, like. Reminds me of a true, a true televised fight. Just run up to the camera, get in your moment. Wow. Finish that round with two seconds left. I was, uh, that was a great comeback by uh, Caesar. He yeah. had a slow start, yeah. and then once he woke up and got that double leg and got where he was comfy, he was uh, he was in the driver's seat. Yeah, I, and I feel like I feel like he kind of came and uh, started that round really composed. He wasn't trying to do anything crazy. as filling out Yusuf and waiting for that opening on that double leg. Really good start to the night of fights, though. Yeah, great start. TKO finish, first thing to go. I would have, I would, a part of me wants to say I wish it went a little bit longer, but at the same time, it didn't look like Yusuf was going to get out of that position that's with those kind punches of, coming down. That's kind of best debut for your first amateur fight. He went through a little adversity, yeah. came back, got Pretty quick, it helps a lot. At 157 of round one for your winner via TKO strikes out of the red corner, Caesar Romo. Again, Cesar Romo winning his debut MMA fight here in his hometown. Big ups to him and his team, Shoot MMA. Uh, we'll be seeing more of him on future cards. Hopefully we see more of Yusuf too. He had some really strong looks, really good striking, very comfy on his feet. So uh, hats off to both these gentlemen.